standing please and put your hands together to welcome the winner of this year's Supreme Award for his contribution to the world of literature. William Shakespeare, come take your place among the heroes of England. <laughs> such a way after writing a mere 37 highly successful stage plays? Well, it's beyond belief. I would like to say to you all on this beautiful Midsummer's Night... Well, what are you doing in there? A Midsummer Night's dream shattered. Oh, June 21st, Midsummer. Why, the very name inspires me to write. Fairies, lovers, yes, now. What shall I call it? I mean, where shall I start? Such a, such a burden, this need to write. Everything I see, hear and smell inspires me. Why, only the other day, two gentlemen from Verona called to sell me life insurance. Well, I mean, even that gave me the idea. <laughs> what to do? What to do already? Shall I lock myself away in a room? <laughs> some time to get on with my ideas. I'm sure I could make a living out of writing. <laughs> Maybe not. Maybe it's just much ado about nothing. <laughs> That's a natty type. <laughs> and the dearest, I will feed the chickens in just a moment. As you like it, William. <laughs> <laughs> or will not be well that ends well. <laughs> Why can't I get some pigs? Why can't someone help me? understand what it's like to be a struggling poet, but potentially promising playwright. Of course, I'll, I'll never get the chance unless I get some help round here. What I, what I really need is a full staff to help me. <laughs> oh, well, you see, you see, then I might get some time. Together we shall quaff a flagon of porter. You what? <laughs> Want a glass of beer? Well, why didn't you say so then? No use using that fancy language of me. I don't understand a word of it. Sorry. Um, by the way, what is your name? And I mean, where did you come from? I am the Paul Star, you asked for. <laughs> My name is Fairy Paul Star, the fairy of the first order, and your very own personalised fairy godfather. <laughs> I asked for a full staff, servants and the like. Anyway, what is a fairy godfather? Well, it's a much used device, frequently used in 20th century pantomime to get the action started. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> is that why you've come to me to get the action started? I suppose so. I mean, to give you a chance. Well, how do you mean? Well, you need time. Time to prove yourself. Time to have a go at writing a play. Mind you, there's this bloke called Francis Bacon about and he'll take a minute and I can tell you. I don't care. <coughs> Give me my chance, let me prove myself. I will become the greatest playwright what has ever lived. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's going to need a few electrocution lessons to start. <laughs> and stop picking lines off Morgan and Wise. <laughs> tell me, Fairy Fox, son, how are you going to help me? Well, basically. The space-time continuum is made up of a series of parallel, isolated, coexisting universes, uh, controlling the flow of the positive, negative, tachyon fluctuation fields, a contemporarily isolated period of global matter, thus producing a stasis situation. Do what? <laughs> Sneaking into the house, and the queen says to the no. dog, She says, 
Out, damned spot! Out! That's totally, totally glory. We need to do something that's relevant to today, a sort of now thing. Now I'm just going to the 20th century. And this is the sort of music they listen to there. Yeah. Hit it, you guys! Bad breath, 
Big ears and huge sticky out teeth. Well, if you're going to get picky about it. Don't forget me all this, will you? My lord, Demetria loved Hermia. I love Hermia, and he loved me. I made that tittle one in my favour. <laughs> You wear them all out. <laughs> I too have heard that Demetrius is in love with her. The law is the law. You must either obey your mother or die. As it's a children's play, we can't have anybody being taught. <coughs> you don't have much choice. We can always do it during the interval. <laughs> Far too messy. Come on, let's go and leave me here to ponder the situation.
You ain't seen nothing yet. <laughs> so, give me the changing and I'll forgive you. You'll forgive me. You'll forgive me? Why, you, you? All right. I see exactly how it is. If you're not willing to listen to me as an equal, perhaps I'm going to have to do something about it. <laughs>
<laughs> Back so soon. Do you have a potion? Uh, right here, Your Worship. I think you'll find that's worship. I don't want to say <laughs> But But wait, what, what just terms of forest? Tell us something. <laughs> you know, the stars in the wood. But how romantic. 
is. Romantic my bottom. We'll get piles if we sit here all night. <laughs> That's going to take the romance out of it, ain't it? Tuck her of chauffeur, but a pillow for both of us. Well, on your nanny, mate. Move a little less near me, dear. Did you hear me? I said shift. <laughs> Good night, sweet friend. May they love their fortunes of my two old hen. Oh, oh, it's cold.
what thou seest, and thou dost wake. Do it for thy true love take. Whate'er it be, let it not grieve, it will be thy dear. Wake, Titania, when some vile thing is near. <laughs>
and not keep it for company any day. You are as wise as you are beautiful. Well, I ain't as wise as I can find my way out of this wood by myself. Out of this wood do not desire to go. You shall remain here whether you will or no. I am a spirit of no corrupt. The sun still doth tend upon my state, and I do love thee. Therefore go with me. I'll give thee fairies to attend on thee, to attend to thy every need. Oh, every need? <laughs> every need. So I should be an ass to miss a chance like this. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. 